All right, gentlemen, I'm gonna create my scout cards and I wanted to go ahead and show you how you do it on Huddle. So on Huddle, you're gonna to go to Playbook under Play Tools. There we go. All right, as it loads up, you're gonna check and make sure it's offense is gray, not defense. You want it on offense because we're creating offensive scout plays. All right, you're gonna to go to add a new play. Bam. I'm gonna put in a formation here. I'm gonna call this Oops, I almost screwed up. You're gonna make sure you put scout in front of it so it doesn't mess with the offensive stuff in their playbook. You're gonna call it scout. You already see I did scout wishbone. We don't want wishbone though. We want scout twig, left, open, eye. All right, play. We're gonna make a twig, left, open, eye template. This is very important because after I set up this template, I'll be able to copy every single time and use the same thing. Defense, we're gonna put our defense on there. So you're gonna type three, five, and you're gonna go down to three, five stunts. That's our setup. Bam, three, five stunts. All right, we have our defense there. Now we're gonna to need to add some offensive skill players. As you see, it, it only automatically creates the offensive line. So I'm gonna click this circle down here. I'm gonna pull a wide receiver up there. There's a wide out, there's a tight end. Try to add my wing. There's a wing. There is an eye back. There's a full back in the eye. And there is a quarterback. All right. I have my formation set. Let's go ahead and set up our defensive players to match. So every time you create this template or pull up this template, they're already set up. You don't have to move them every time. So I'm going to click this down here with the arrow, this arrow tool. Click. All right. I'm going to move my corner at five yards over number one receiver. Our K is going to be outside shade of a wing. We're not in a stick right now. So he, you know what, we will line up in stick. So I'm going to go ahead and put him up there because we're going to probably have an automatic stick call there, one by one. And our corner is going to be at five inside shade right there. And I hate how wide my wing is. Let's move him in some that looks a little unrealistic. There we go. Okay, everybody else is set up correctly because our stack is intact. Our safety is at 10, which is okay for a, a two back wish, two back uh, twig. I'd probably put him at eight. All right, now we have everything set up. You're gonna hit create this play, bam. Do I wanna add another one? No, I don't like doing that, it messes me up. So I'm gonna hit no thanks. All right, now we're gonna scroll down. We're gonna look. You're gonna see scout, where is it? All right, I got my scout wishbone that I created earlier and I got all my runs and passes left and right, my five runs, my five passes. All right, I'm gonna go to my twig though and it's empty except for I set up my template, right? Let's make our first play. Here we go. So we're gonna go over to actions. This is very important to not lose your play. Hit copy, copy. So now it's making a copy of it. So it saves my original play. I scrolled up, it saves my original template but now I can change this. So I'm gonna run, we're gonna run an old, let's see, it's called, let's see, one, 121 left, oops. I like to start out each one with the word run, so it's easy to tell if it's a run or pass. 121 left. So now we're gonna draw this up. We already have our template set up. We already have everybody in the right spot. Now we're just gonna draw who blocks who and how we're gonna run this play, all right? Draw two blocks two and how we're gonna run this play. So I kick my, put my blocking tool, I highlight my first guy, he's gonna block him. So I'm just gonna click on the, on the right end. Now we have a nice down block look here. We're gonna get a down block here. So I clicked on my tackle, I'm gonna click on my mic and double click. He's blocking the mic. My guard is going to pull out and kick out the K, so I'm gonna click on him. I'm gonna draw like a pull to the K, all right? There that is. Now I'm gonna click on my nose, who's my center who's gonna block the nose. There's that. My backside guard is gonna pull as well. So that's my kick out puller. Now here's my guard that's pulling up, looking for trash. His trash is gonna be probably the corner, all right? I'll click on my wing, who's gonna block our play side peat. Whoops, it didn't do it. Click on the wing, double click on the peat, there we go. All right, 
my backside tackle is just going to cut off the end, so I'm going to draw him a little bit inside and then like that. All right, so our play is starting to look pretty decent, right? We are getting there. All right, what's next? Here we go. We're going to get a little, a little fake fill here by the fullback, and our wide out is going to just angle in and block the corner. Okay, so how do we draw who's going to get the ball? Here's what I like to do to make it easy. All right, we're gonna click on this circle and it pulls up these colors. Now we're gonna select him as red because he's the ball carrier. Now I select my arrow and he is gonna run the ball through these kick out blocks. So we're gonna run, we're gonna show him getting the ball and hitting this kick out lane. All right, then we're gonna click back on this, which is your selection tool. You're gonna show your quarterback after the handout is gonna boot out. So. I'm gonna draw my quarterback. He's gonna come, he's gonna fake here. Then he's gonna hand off here. And then we're gonna get a little diagonal line boot out look at. All right, now we have our scout, twig left open eye, run, 121 left. It's all drawn up. I'm gonna hit create this play. And I'm gonna go down to my scout twig. Where are we at? There it is, scout twig. I'm gonna open it up again. And very important to remember, I want to make this play go the other direction. So, uh, so I don't lose that play, I'm going to hit copy. I hit copy. I go up to my play and I'm going to say, okay, I'm going to flip this right. So I'm just going to change this to an R. And it didn't change anything, right? It changed just the name. It's still going left. Okay, so how do I do that? I go to field settings. Go to flip play, left to right. Bam, and look, now it's going the other way. Same play, same blocking scheme going the other way. Click, and I save it. Now I have, let's go back down to our scout twig. And I have my 121 left run, 121 right run. I still have my template, and I can add all my runs and my passes. All right. Let's say I'm done with all 10 of them. I want to share them. I'm going to go ahead and share. I'm going to go ahead and create an install. How about that? Installs. All right. Create a new install. I'm going to call this my defensive. Whoops. If we can keep the same common names, that'd be great. Defensive scout. And I got to capitalize in there. Whoops. Def God dang it, sorry. Defensive, I'm on caps lock. Defensive scout. Wishbone, because I was doing my, I already completed my wishbone package. So, it says describe this play. I think it describes it in there pretty well. So I'm just gonna hit save. So I've made my install and I'm just gonna add my install plays. All right, so you can either do a group of eight or you can do everyone single drawn. I like to do a group of eight. I just picked my first 10 wishbone plays, so here we go. I'm gonna find my wishbone plays. No, this is a, a little time consuming because you have to know your name. There they are, Scout Wishbone. You see that? They're all in alphabetical order. There's my twigs I just made. But I want my Scout Wishbones. I just go down the line to make it easier so I know what I did. So I do the first Scout Wishbone play I see, which is I skip the template. It's the four vert and then the flood. Right now it's all my passes. Pass, pass, and it'll let you know if you pick too many. Pass, pass. All right, so I did an install of passes right there. I, had, I have seven plays, I get up to eight, so why would I put another run play on a pass sheet? So I'm just gonna hit add those seven plays. Now I have my first install sheet, my seven play, and when I print it, it will come up nice and pretty. You guys wanna see that. Let's go ahead and add plays. So I'm gonna do another sheet of eight. We're gonna add our run. So we're gonna find Scout. Where are you at, Scout? Come on. Whoops. And we did all our passes. So let's find the first word that says Scout Run. And it's already shown you you've installed those. See how they're gray? They're, you can't even pick them again. That's pretty cool. All right. So there's one, two, three, four, five six, seven, eight. So I can create another eight playlist, add eight plays. Let's do one more list, add plays. Let's 
do another eight play sheet. I clicked on that eight play sheet. Let's show you. There it is. Choose plays. Let's go down to our scout wishbone. Do, do, do. This upfront work will save a, us a lot of work in the end. There's only two scout wishbone plays left, so trap right and trap left. Add those two plays. Now this will print. I'm going to flip this here. This will print on a nice eight play sheet. I got all my passes. And then the next play will be all runs. And then the next one would be a trap, one, two plays of a trap. All right. So remember to label everything with pass or run to begin with. And that'll help you organize. All right. So we would go to, I'm going to, it's shared with all the coaches already. So that's good. So if I wanted to print this, I would just click print. And it's, in, it's installing and building a PDF. So it's going to open up a PDF and this will look like it'll have a nice cover. And then it'll have the plays all drawn up. Look at that. Page one, page two, page three is bigger because you only have two plays on there. So there is uh, <clears throat> our tutorial on how to make a, um, a scout sheet. I'm going to go ahead and do my twig plays and share those with you guys. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Go dogs.